In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your first perforce version controlled project. We're going to create a project where two people, Pierre and Bob, are collaborating to make a sandwich recipe together. Before we start the perforce program, we need to know some perforce basics first. Perforce is a centralized version control system, which means that all files are stored on the server. To make any changes on the files on the server, we first need to download them to our local computer, make our changes, and then send the changes back to the server. In Perforce, a project folder on the server is called a stream, and the folder where we download the files to our local computer is called a workspace. The reason it's called a workspace is because it's on that folder that we work on the project. Let's jump to the computer and start our sandwich project. When you first start Perforce, you will see this window where you're going to enter your server and your username. You're probably going to get this from your company. We're just going to click OK, sign in. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create the project on the server. We're going to create the stream. To do that, we go to File, New, Stream. The first thing we're going to enter is our stream's name. I'm going to call it sandwich recipe and the stream type we're going to put mainline. The depot is a big folder where different streams are stored. So we can see here on the left side depot you see here we have folders and in folders we have streams. So for this project I'm going to choose test as the depot. And we're going to put the project in my Marcus Casala subfolder. And then unclick the two options below and click OK. So now we have created the project on the server, but we need to get it to our local computer. We need to get the workspace going, you know? Now let's create the workspace where Pierre is going to work on the recipe. So we're going to click new workspace selected, new workspace. Set a name. I'm going to set the name to Pierre's workspace and we, I'm going to select where the workspace is going to be located. Then we want to select the stream which we're going to connect the workspace to. So we're going to click browse and then sandwich recipe. Now we just click OK. Now we can see we don't have any files in our workspace. It's because we haven't created any. So to do that, we go to the location where the workspace is stored, click PS workspace, click new text file, sandwich recipe. And of course, Pierre wants to add one bucket. Save the file, we can close it. And then if we go back to perforce, click refresh, we can see we have added our file. But we have not submitted the file to stream yet. It's just local on our workspace. So to do that, we click reconcile offline work. This will search through the whole workspace and see what files have we changed or what files have we added. We can see it found our sandwich recipe. Then we click reconcile. Now, if you go to this pending tab, you will see the file has added itself to a change list. A change list is a sort of a, a box of files that you will upload to the server. So now to upload the file, we double click on enter description here. So now we're going to enter the description. We're going to enter, I added the recipe file with one baguette. Then we're going to click submit. Now we have finally uploaded the file to the server. I'm just now going to create a new workspace where Bob is going to continue working on this magic sandwich recipe. So I just created a new workspace where Bob is going to work on the recipe. So I'm going to click it and what? We don't see any new files. We don't see the Pierre's recipe. What do we do? What? So to see the latest changes to the files, we go to view 
and then you're going to click dashboard. It's going to open a tab on the bottom of the window and we're going to click get latest revision, get revision. Boom! We see we have the sandwich recipe that Pierre created for us. So now we're going to continue edit and add stuff to the file. So we're going to go to Bob's workspace, open the file. And of course, Bob, he wants two barbecue meats. Save the file. We can just close it. Click on top. Reconcile offline work. Look, we can see we have changed one file. Click reconcile. In our workspace, double click. We want to add the description on what changes we have done. Added some barbecue. And then submit. If we go back to PS workspace, we can see we have one new file, one new revision. Click it, get revision. We can go back to PS recipe and see, wow, we have added two meats. Congrats, you have just made your first Perforce project.